In this video, I will show you how to use Wanderlog to plan your trip. Everything from budgeting to where you are actually going, the hotels you're staying in, literally everything can be planned using Wanderlog and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Now I'll be using the website, however you can also follow along on the mobile app if you want to use the mobile app. So first go ahead and open up either the Wanderlog app or website and then you can click start planning and in order to start planning you will see that you can plan a new trip here and you first want to enter where to. So if you're doing some kind of a road trip then you just want to enter the place where you are going to be starting. So for example if my road trip starts in Paris then I will enter Paris right here. Now here you can add any dates and this is optional so I'll just skip this for now. There you can invite trip mates. So in order to invite trip mates you will need to sign up first but you can simply invite people to see the actual trip and what you have planned. So now you want to click start planning and then again you will need to sign up. So signing up is completely free. I'll just sign up with Google right now. So now you will see this right here. Now here you have some of their tips. So first off, you can discover things to do inside of Wanderlog. Then you can add your reservations right here. Then you can add a bucket list for anything. You can plan out your days and you can collaborate in real time. Now here you will see trip to Paris. So we have now created our first trip. Now you will see the first thing you can do is to add some places. For example, I will just do this right here, the Louvre Museum. So if you type in Louvre Museum, you will see that now one of your places to visit is the Louvre Museum. Now what you can do is actually add a cost to this. So let's say that you are going to spend $50 here. Then you can add that if you use a different currency, you can also choose that right here. Now here you can select what you will be doing here. So sightseeing, flights, food, shopping, whatever. Now in this case that is sightseeing. Then you can add a description, paid by. If it's only you, then you can only select you. But if there's multiple people, then you can also split it up. So then click save. And now one of your places to visit will be the Louvre Museum. Now what I recommend you to do first is to add in any reservations. For example a lodging reservation, so for example in a hotel. You can either click book hotel or if you have already booked your accommodations then you can search for it right here. For example if I would be staying in Hotel de la Marine then I can click on that one. And then you can choose when you are checking in, so let's say the 1st of May until the 6th of May. And now you will see your hotel right here is the hotel we just entered. So now you have that reservation and now if you are doing some kind of a road trip, for example if I am doing a road trip and I'm going to go to Marseille here, then what I can do is add another lodging here to Marseille. So for example this one is a hotel in Marseille, so let's say I have booked a hotel there, then I can open up this one. Then for example the other one ended at the 6, so let's say this is 7 until 10. Then you can see that now we have this hotel right here. And if I zoom out you will now see we start here and we have the Louvre Museum. And then we go here later and along the way you can of course add more places that you will be staying. But you just want to add in all the activities that you will be doing. So you can see right here, for example if you are also going to this place, then you can click on that. And you will now see that this garden right here, what it is. And then you can also add that if you want. Now here you will see explore. So you can also find places, for example, the best restaurants in Paris. You can search for hotels, the top places. So let's say I want to find a restaurant and I can click best restaurants. And now you will find some of the best restaurants in Paris. You can see how expensive it is. You can see the Google reviews, the TripAdvisor reviews and a little description. Now, for example, if I would like to go here, then I can click add to trip. And now it has been added to my trip. Now if I go back here, you will see that right now we have the restaurant here. Now you can even change the cover photo if you want or if you want to remove any places you can also do that. So I'll just add a couple of places that I would like to visit when we are in Paris and then those will be then showing up right here and you can also see them on the map. Now here you have itinerary and basically here you can select a start and end date to organize your days. So if you want to organize your date you can click add trip dates for example 1st of May until 6th and now you can actually add and now for example here you have Wednesday the 1st of May and then you can add a place that you will be visiting on that specific day. So then you can actually plan out each day specifically. They also have an AI tool which will help you fill the day out automatically so we will generate a day of suggested places. So if you click auto fill day. You will then see that they have added the Eiffel Tower and some more stuff right here all on this day automatically. You can see how long it is in between these in between these activities for example from the Eiffel Tower towards this place it's a 7 minute walk. 
and you can see you can also optimize the route so that it is as good as possible so if you click optimize route you can see for this you will need to have their paid subscription so you can just leave that if you want so just plan out every single day and then here you have your budget so currently this is the budget however you can set the budget to a lot more as well if you want but here you basically have your expenses so here you can just track all of your expenses if you click add expense for example if you have an expense for the hotel right here and let's say that's for six nights five hundred dollars then you can split it with people if you want and then when you click save you will see that it will be added to the budget then here you also have a debt summary so you will see all of your debts and who still needs to pay for what so basically you can just add in all of the activities restaurants and everything you want to do in a specific day and you can just plan it out right here or if you are doing some kind of a road trip then you can also add multiple locations along the way for example if you're going to this place right here then you can find stuff to do right here so it's all pretty simple just go and fill your days in and then what you can do is just invite collaborators or share it right here so that people can also actually see that for example we are going to visit these places right here and on this day we will be doing this and this etc so then once you have filled it in completely you can actually kind of see your entire road trip for example if you're doing an entire europe road trip say you are starting in lisbon right here and then you go to madrid and then barcelona then paris and you can basically see all of that right here so that's pretty cool and then people will also be able to follow along with what you are doing when you share this so if you click share you will get a link and if you only want the person that you are sharing this with to be able to view the trip then you can select view only and copy the link right here but if you want them to also be able to edit the trip then you can click can edit and then they will also be able to edit the trip now when you click on the three dots right here and then click trip settings you can actually choose the type of transportation that is available to you for example drive and walk short distance or public transit walk short distance so just select what you want and then click close and then you will have selected that so then you can also use the AI assistant here and if you click on that you can just ask it questions so the AI assistant is purely informational it cannot edit or access your trip and you can just ask it for example best food in Paris or a three-day itinerary to Paris so let's click on this for example and then you'll see day one you will do this day two you will do this so that's also pretty nice and you can just add that in if you want and then as you can see when you click on any of these for example the Seine river if you click on that you can then click add to trip or if you click on the drop down you can select a specific day so let's say i want to visit this on may 5th then i can click may 5th right here and then on may 5th we will now be visiting this river and then if i also want to go to palace of versailles then i can also click on that one and let's add that one to the 2nd of may for example so that's also pretty nice and then you will see that right now on the 2nd of may you will see palace of versailles right here so now we have also added that in now if you want to book a hotel then that's also possible through wonderlog you can just click on the hotel icon here and then where so for example if this one needs to be in madrid then i can search for madrid then you can choose a date that you want it to be for example the 15th until 18th of may then you can choose how many rooms and guests and then click search and then here you will find some hotels and you can actually click on them for example if you want to book this one then you can click on view deal right here and then you will be able to book that actual hotel so that's pretty cool so they also make it easier to actually book your stays or hotels or apartments so now you know how to use wonderlog to plan out your trip if this video was helpful please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel with that being said i will see you in the next video